And more on the Old Dominion football team in Myrtle Beach as they get set for the Myrtle Beach Bowl against Tulsa. With more, let's go down to Craig Loper in South Carolina. <laughs> You know, up until this point and all the hype regarding ODU's second bowl game in program history, it's been just that, hype. But today it became more real as the team was back out on the practice field here in Myrtle Beach. But it's not all, you know, just practice here in Myrtle Beach. The guys taking in a nice, fun arcade night here at Dave & Buster's in Myrtle Beach. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. You doing well? I'm doing well. I'm trying to do well. Trying to. There we go. These guys are trying to have some fun tonight. But, you know, when it comes to this game, they want to beat Tulsa, but really this vibe and energy is what the guys were talking about after practice today. It felt awesome to be able to settle in and uh, kind of get back in the groove of, of football. You know, we came here for a reason, that's to beat Tulsa. It's exciting, uh, you know, we're three days away um, from uh, competing in a championship game. I know a lot of people didn't think we were going to be here, um, but uh, it's, it's been a fun experience. This practice was different than we've ever run because it's a little bit different. I wanted to get them going, um, you know, because we only had one down here before we get into our Thursday, Friday, Saturday part of our game week. So it's a little bit different, but other than that, I, I thought it was more about that than it was, you know, rust. They're going to practice again tomorrow and then have a light walkthrough on Sunday before Monday's 2.30 kick. Reporting in Myrtle Beach, I'm Craig Loper for the Sports Wrap. Thanks a lot, Craig. All of our bowl coverage on wavy.com. And tonight, James Madison takes on North Dakota State in the FCS semifinals.